In today's video, we're going to start with a renovation of my front ditch. As you can see, it's, pre it's pretty wild. It's got a lot of different weeds and grass types in it. So what I want to do is make the ditch a little like the front yard. The front yard is clean Bermuda, no weeds in it. It's nice and smooth. It's being cut at three quarters of an inch. So hold on and I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do to try and conquer this ditch. Hey guys, welcome to Sunny Bermuda. And this is the product I'm going to use to try and conquer the weeds and different grass types in my front ditch. This is Spectricide by Reed Stop. It's a very common product you can pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's and even Walmart and also online. And the thing about this product, it kills 470 plus types of weeds, including crabgrass and yellow nut sedge, which I've seen in my yard. And it says, do not apply this to Bermuda when daytime temperatures exceed 85 degrees. We're getting up to mid 90s next week, upper 90s on some days. So, but right now, this week, we're still in the 80s. So, I'm going to try and put down a good coat of this. And it's, you're supposed to see results in five hours. I'm going to go on vacation, but I'll come back and show you the results, you know, in about five days after I get back from vacation. And this 32 ounce, or actually, this is a little bonus, 25% more. So, this actually, you have 40 ounces here. But 32 ounces will treat 5,000 square feet. And what I like about this, it says do not use on centipede, St. Augustine, or Bahia grass, which is good because I don't want that grass in my Bermuda. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Let's head out to the ditch and let's talk about what's going on in the ditch. Okay, guys, here we are in the ditch. It's a really windy day, so I hope you guys can hear me. I'm going to probably wait till this evening when the wind dies down to actually spray. I don't want any overdrift to my Bermuda up here or any of the flowers and plants around. But what I've done, I went ahead and measured this ditch and I've marked, let's see if we can see this, that red mark, every 1,000 square feet. So we got 1,000 square feet here. Then we come down 2,000 square feet. There's another marker here. So this would be 3,000 square feet. And then down here at the end should be another red line for 4,000 square feet for this total here. As you can see my neighborhood, it's basically an open ditch neighborhood. It doesn't have curbs and all the fancy sidewalks and all that stuff. I guess probably because the, the uh, lots are too big. We got three acre lots on this side. Some of them are a little larger. But my goal today is to spray this really good with the weed stop, try and kill. Let's get some close up here. See this here? You tell me guys, is this Centipede or St. Augustine? Not really sure. It looks kind of like St. Augustine. It's really really thick blades and it's riddled all through here along with Bahia I cut this a day ago look Bahia is always shoot, already shooting up these little stalks here and they'll be it'll be here probably by this evening it'll probably be a good six inches tall here we go this one's already shot up look how tall it is Whew. pick it so you can see it good you see that it's got those little fork at the end with those little red or not red but black seed pods at the top that's a good 12 inches already in <laughs> less than a day it's insane but yeah i'm hoping the weed stop will kill the the hay here's another one here but that's mostly what's in here is different grass types a lot of saint augustine or centipede whatever that is and then the hay riddle through here also see some i think this may be what they call clumping fescue but it's about toast now in the sun especially getting up close to 90 and like i said we're about 85 today but by next next week middle of next week it's going to be 97 degrees so we want to go ahead and spray this and let it do its magic before tomorrow and i'll leave on vacation and then i come back i'll probably be back and i think next wednesday or thursday i'll come out here and video it and, and see you know see what all it's done see how it's killed so here's some different weeds too we got these little little furry looking weeds i'm not sure what these are called and then you got the little clover looking things with the, with the yellow flowers on them and then these hideous things these stick we call these sticker weeds because they all turn to stickers stick in your feet but yeah they got the little 
white. It's like fly, flowery seed pods that throw the seeds everywhere. But yeah, goal is to really clean this up. I got enough chemicals. Like I showed you in the ball of 40, what was it, 40 ounces? And the 32 ounces covers 5,000 square feet. So we got a thousand here. So while I've got it in my backpack uh, sprayer, I'm gonna spray this whole ditch here. And then come over here and start the renovation on this little side area over here. But as you can see, my Bermuda's up here. It looks good. No, but then when it comes back down here, we got all these sticker weeds. I've already sprayed it once just to see if it would kill it. And it obviously did, but the haven't rained in a week. So it's really parched looking. Actually, my whole yard is. But here, here's some more of the centipede or St. Augustine. It's kind of weird. It's got red. It's like red blades on it, but it looks pretty dense in here. In places, especially right through here. This red, that's just where I marked my electrical line. That's for a project. I don't want to hit it for a different project. I'm going to renovate this whole area here. But right now, I'm just going to show you the grass. You can see this over here. This looks horrible. Got these long runners everywhere. Look at this. See? That's pretty wild. They're, they're everywhere, all over. Oh, here on the side. There's another one, see? Hopes I'll kill it. So it's like some type of clumping fescue there, too. And then, of course, my, you've seen my backyard. It's, it's virtually weed free. And then it goes on down. And this side here, it looks really good. But I got about 20,000, 27,000 square feet. This is where I did a little leveling when I had some septic tank work done. Probably about two years ago, I was just filling in some holes there. But we're gonna tackle this little area here. And then also the front yard, right in the front ditch. Okay, this spectra side, since it's a little, since it has 25% more, so it has more than 32 ounces. It's got 40 fluid ounces. So you turn it over. It actually says it treats up to 6,250 square feet, which averages out to about 6.4 ounces per 1,000 square feet. So I'm going to do 4,000 square feet in the front. So just basically four times 6.4. So we're going to calculate that up and we'll pour it in my sprayer here. I got an Impro uh, backpack sprayer. It is battery powered. So let's get started. We'll go ahead and fill it this up half with water at our weed stop here and then we'll finish filling this up. We're gonna do four gallons. That way we're gonna average basically one gallon of product per thousand square feet on my ditch up front. Okay, I did the calculations. I'm going to put down 28.8 fluid ounces of this product. That's 6.4 times four, four for 4,000 square feet. And I'm also gonna spray an extra 500 square feet on the side over there I showed earlier. So that's another 3.2 ounces. So I'm gonna pour this up and pour it in here. Also, be sure to use some gloves when you're spraying. Put on a mask maybe if you have that, some long pants. Also, I'm gonna put on these rubber boots here I've got. <clears throat> just clean the mud off these. I put these on. Basically just keep it off of you. Try and protect yourself. I'm also going to include some green spray pattern indicator. Basically, that way I can see where I've sprayed and where I haven't sprayed. And also, this doesn't say anything about a surfactant, so you probably don't need a surfactant. To that, What that does is it makes the chemicals adhere to the, or stick to the uh, weed leaves or grass leaves. So I'm just gonna throw in a little of this surfactant I've got on hand help it stick. You can use, I think, Joy dishwashing liquid or something like that. Anything that'll provide, you know, a good sticking uh, mechanism for the uh, herbicide to stick to the, the plant leaves.
All right, guys, I just sprayed this back here. You can see where the, the green dye has marked itself. And also, I'm gonna show you the ditch before it fades. This last section, you can see where I sprayed it. Actually, looks pretty green. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I sprayed all the way up this entire area. You can still see the green dye on it. I basically took it once, 1,000 square foot at a time. One, two, three, and then four. And then that back area is about 500 square feet. So we'll come back from vacation, probably in about five days, seven days, and I'll we'll look and see what the results. If we, and then I'll show you the front yard and see if we survive that drought. 97 degrees. It's going to be hot. Don't forget to clean out your sprayer. I rinsed it out really good. And now I'm going to use some of this Blazer spray tank cleaner to run it through the hoses and also through my tip which is a T-Jet tip and I'll leave links to everything in my description below on my website sunnybermuda.com be sure and check it out okay guys here we are 10 days post application of the spectricide the hammer came down we just came out of a 17 day drought so the yard really took a hitting and you can I think the weed stop really kind of took a punch to the Bermuda. It, it kind of browned it a little on the top. Let's see if you can see it here. But overall, I think it really took a hit on most of the weeds. There's still a few weeds that are surviving. Take a close up here. Looks like this Virginia buttonweed. It's slowly dying. this not sure what this is this is Wilton you see the brown on this I can believe this may be the Bahia and also what looks like the centipede or St. Augustine it really took a hit I'm hoping hoping this dies out I may have to do a second application but I put the max rate of 6.4 ounces per thousand square feet on the on this you know on this ditch here and i believe there is a max I, think I have to wait 21 days to put down another application of it so i'm not sure if i'm going to do that or not but some of this you can see here in the bottom ditch is still pretty green it looked like it didn't take a too bad of a hit I mean, it's turning turning purple in areas you see this pull this up so they're still that hardy green stall. Ooh, that's thick. You see the purple on it. Overall, I'd say I'm fairly satisfied with what the weed stop did. The spectra side. See here how brown this is. These huge stalks. Like St. Augustine stolons. Look at there. I see that just pulled straight out. So we walk down here. Another large area here got hit. This one really got hit hard. This area here, taking it out. But this, for example, this area still looks pretty green. And that's uh, Bahia. I'm gonna have to use, find something different to target the Bahia. It looks like it survived pretty good. Then we got the See those? Those are turning black. Little patches. Not sure what kind of weeds those were. But there, you can see the little black spots of it dying. I know this one was. You can see these. Come down there. Took those out. Overall, everything took a good hit except for the bahia grass. So I had to find something different. Try and get it. Look at this. This looks like more of the Virginia buttonweed. Yeah, it looks like Virginia buttonweed there. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is clean Bermuda right here on this whole whole bank here. Fairly clean Bermuda. Got a few of the little weeds there. You know, some more of these black spots where weeds have died. There's a couple of holes there. That's from cutting down a pine tree. See these little holes. That's from a pine tree, thankfully. It's not from a, a pest or anything like that. 
And there's some there's some weeds. Again, this looks like the Bahia. It's still doing pretty good. Overall, pretty happy with it. I want to put some fertilizer to it. Get this, really crank up this Bermuda and get it green. We're finally expecting some rain towards the end of next week. So, but like I said earlier, we finally ended a 17 day drought with three quarters of an inch of rain for the night. So it hasn't rained since then either. So probably two days since it had rain. But we should expect three or four days next week, towards the end of next week. So I'm gonna put some fertilizer on this, really green it up and really get that Bermuda activated, help it spread, choke out the weeds and fill in areas that's maybe bare. But guys, appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Got some good ideas on Spectracide, how well it works. So be sure to hit the like button, hit me subscribe and give me a like. And we'll see you guys in the yard next time. Thank you.